Good evening, World Wide Web. Uh, welcome back to my stock channel. This is James, your favorite ticker picker. Uh, this video is about S Dow, S D O W. It shorts the Dow. It's an ETF that shorts the Dow on a two time multiplier. So if the Dow goes up 2%, your share price goes down 4%. If the Dow goes down 2%, your share price goes up 4%. So it, it works twice the multiplier on the percentage daily and constantly. Uh, it's a very good stock to short the Dow with. They charge the least amount of fees and charges, and you don't get taxed very much. But once a year, they might whack you up for a dime or a nickel, maybe a couple of times a year. I think it's like a 2% annual tax that they put on this thing for that's how they make their money at the ETF. Uh, the people that produce it. Um, and that way they can pay their staff to do all the trading of these derivatives. 2444 today. Uh, we're at a very high point with the Dow. We're over 34,000, I believe. The Dow was way up today. We're kind of at an extreme high point, which is why you're seeing. S Dow at one month at a pretty much its low. Six months, you're seeing it pretty much at its low. Way over here. That's the six months low for S Dow, which means that today's probably you know very close to the six months high for the Dow, is what that means. You go back a full year, uh, it's still way down there. There are times when it did get, well, I think it was, no, 24 is kind of the rock bottom for this thing. I, I haven't, I, I, I own this thing for a, just a year. Uh, I bought it last October. Inflation was going out of control. I just couldn't see the Dow holding these ridiculous levels of 34,000, 35,000. And, uh, I bought some uh, S Dow. I, don't, I didn't think the Dow had any reason to be this high. I thought these companies would inevitably have to take a beating, cut back, lose some. You know, I thought inflation would, would be destructive on their sales. I didn't think it would help their business. It turned out they made 20% more money and everybody's still buying the crap. Uh, it's all going to come to a, a close soon enough, though. Um, uh, September is the first month where 40 million Americans will have to pay their student loans again. That's 40 million Americans that are no longer going to be stimulated with the extra $530 a month on average that they are stimulated with. They're all going to be able to buy less crap. Uh, it is going to be an earnings hit. Uh, the prices of things are still getting higher. The services sector is still roaring out of control. Um, wages are they're trying to get those into check, uh, but I don't think they're competing. Uh, houses and cars are just unaffordable. People are getting broker and broker and broker. Your rent keeps going up. Uh, used cars, new cars, whatever it is, interest rates, all of it. It's making life tougher and tougher and tougher on everybody. I think an earnings recession is in the future. They say it's not going to hit till this fall, and here's the play. SDAO. You can buy the underlying SDAO stock and hold on to it, or you can just get the option. Uh, I really like the options on this one. You can buy, they're expensive, but if you're going to buy like a December or a January option on this one to go to like, I don't know, say... Well, it's a twenty-four forty-four now. To go up to like twenty-six bucks, you're going to spend a couple hundred dollars on that. For to control a hundred shares, you're going to spend about two bucks a share on it. If you're confident that this thing by January is going to go, you know, two dollars higher than this, then it would be a great play. Uh, let's see if it should go two dollars higher than this. It's been at twenty-four forty-four. Over the last year, the worst the Dow got was October. It was right around when I bought this thing, like a dummy, at the high point. Uh, well, no, I didn't buy it this high. $43 a share this was 
in uh, October, November, 35, 36, 31. Um, and keep in mind, in October, we still had Dow 32,500, something like that. It was ridiculously high to where it should be, even now, I think. I think there's a with looming recession with the prices where they're at, with the, the human suffering that's going on, and the, everyone going broker and broker, and the credit cards getting maxed out. I see a lot of doom and gloom one day uh, in the next year or in the next six months uh, or whenever the hell it kicks into the earnings reports of these companies. I guess we're going to finally see it on the Dow. Uh, COVID, we can take a look at that big uh, COVID eruption. Uh, the Dow is much lower, I guess, uh, here. And then here was the COVID spike. Hello. The sucker went up to... $332. That's because the Dow crashed down to 18,000. So if you think we're going to get a Dow 18,000, Dow 25,000, yeah, you're looking at a $200 S Dow. That's the power of this thing. You spend your $200, you get your January position. If this world falls apart by January, you're going to make a fortune. So. It's maybe not a bad idea to buy a few of these things here uh, every year uh, until all this crap is over. It's going to cover your other positions. It's going to be way up when your other ones are way down. Um, it's going, uh, if you think we're going to have the full-blown crashity crash, Dow 25,000, yeah, you're looking at a 10-time multiplier on this thing. Uh, just on the price of the stock, I can't even tell you what the options do. The options, when this thing went to 332, you know, from, well, even 145, I guess it doubled at the time. Yeah, it doubled. So I guess the options probably just went bananas, but that many dollars worth of bananas? Wow, that's a lot of bananas. So if this thing here doubled from here, that's going to do a lot more than double, though. This was uh, like Dow 29,000 to Dow 18,000. That's probably what this was. And here you have, now we're like Dow 35,000. So it's just shoving this thing downwards. But as soon as we see Dow 35 or, or, or Dow 25,000 or 20,000 again, it should be right up here in these levels. It should be up in the couple hundred dollar range. It should go up 10 times probably on this multiplication effect. Um, it could be worth a couple hundred bucks. It could be worth 80 bucks. It could be worth 100 bucks. If the Dow really crashes, it should go way up there. And if you own 100 or, or one contract of this and you control 100 shares of it, uh, you get to enjoy the full ride. Uh, at a very low cost of entry and a very low risk. Instead of spending $2,444 on this thing, for $200, you can control it until like January. And you can be in at a really good price. So if you, or even, even for your safety net, you could do a long shot position on this. You can say, all right, well, if it hits 40 then I want to own it. You know, And that way, you only become the owner uh, or, or it only hits the money if the shit hits the fan, and if the shit doesn't hit the fan, you're safe. You're okay because shit didn't hit the fan, but if shit hits the fan, then it engages your SDAO, and and it's your insurance money. So should you have a 12-month, $50 call option on this thing, or with a stripe at 50 or for like a year, well, that would pretty much shore up problems on your account. I would sure guarantee that the recession isn't going to eat you alive if it comes. Wipe out all of your other positions. This one's going to save the day um, as that's going to happen. And if you buy one that's in play, it's just going to move up and down with the Dow as it goes. So if the Dow only loses, the Dow falls to 29000 this thing goes to $45, $50. You'll still double your money on the thing. You make money with those way out options also. If you think the Dow's at a severely high point where it doesn't belong right now, you might want to consider some January or July 
SDAO options, call options. Uh, they go up when the Dow goes down uh, on a multiplier. And then when you add the options to that, uh, you can get some of those, you know, long ones um, for 50, 70 bucks a contract. You know, you might be able to spend $200 on insurance for your stock account. It might not be a bad idea just for insurance sake. Just as I'm going to spend 200 to make sure I don't lose my ass on anything this year and then I can be the bull that I want to be you know without having to worry you can be all the bull you want to be as long as you get your SDAO options uh, then you're not living in a dangerous world you're not playing in a dangerous environment um, so yeah I recommend SDAO options to cover your butt for any looming nonsense that's ahead you know if a war starts if we're going to scooby-doo with China if uh uh, COVID comes back, if the earnings uh, recession becomes a reality, if, if there's a big unemployment thing, if there's another housing crisis, whatever it is, SDAO's got you covered. You should always have your insurance. Long-term SDAO options with a far out strike price, that would be your insurance. The strike price can be pretty far out too, because when you look at this thing over like the last six months, this thing hits 30 bucks all the time. Uh, well, it comes close to 30. The last six is probably not a good example. Let me go back to the year. Yeah, I need 40 bucks, 30 bucks, 30 bucks, uh, 35 bucks. Here it hit 30 bucks just a little while ago. Here it was at 27.61. It was starting to look like it was going to get back to 30 bucks. It didn't. And the Dow went up again. Everybody decided that inflation was over. This is your insurance. This is your gold. This is your, uh, this is your, in case shit hits the fan, I'm going to clean up on one stock. I might get crushed on the others, but this one here is going to go up 50 fold for me and make it all up. That's what SDAO is when you talk about options. Uh, the more the crush, uh, you might want to measure it a little bit and proportionalize it to your account how much insurance you want to get, but uh, gold, I don't know, that might be insurance too. Uh, this might also be an alternative method of insurance. Uh, SDAO, everybody, uh, long-term options just for when shit hits the fan. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Much appreciated and have a wonderful evening. Um, I, I, I fought with this one for a year and the, the bulls are so resistant in this market I couldn't get anywhere with it. Every, every time I thought we were at a high point, they'd go find a freaking higher point. Every time I thought I needed to just hold and wait, it didn't come. It just didn't come. I'd do a tease and get close, but it didn't come. Um, that's because I was living on this cliff. I was living on this cliff, and then I had to live through this. This was, oh, I'm almost back to normal. Oh, I'm almost back to normal. Oh, I'm only, you know, just me just, just getting crushed even more. Finally, I got out a good loser, but I learned my lesson and I learned about SDAO and it's, uh, it's powerful and it really does play the Dow really well. It's the cheapest and most reliable one and it's got the most volume and they pay a nice dividend too. They give you a dividend every quarter and it's kind of nice. If you get uh, options, you don't get the dividend, though. But uh, SDAO, um, yeah, you can see as the Dow goes up, it goes down. And if the Dow goes in the opposite direction, well, this thing gets stupid. Uh, the worse the crash, the higher it goes. Um, is it going to crash forever? Yeah, probably, because the Dow is going to probably just keep going up. They'll keep swapping out companies on the Dow to make sure it keeps going up. Uh, but do you want it for insurance? I think so. Or for a short, short time play. If you know tomorrow is going to be explosively a bad day, you want to grab some SDAO the day before that so that you can take advantage of what you know for tomorrow as to be a shitty day on the Dow, for instance, or shitty, shitty news or something. This, this would be the one to jump into to take advantage of the shit news. Um, in that case, short case, short term options might be better too for temporary shit news. Uh, SDAO, everybody, have a wonderful day.
Like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next video. Thank you.